Well, good morning. This is a quick little explanation about uh, bandwidth usage, or actually uh, bandwidth and uh, disk space usage. Um, the two are, are somewhat tied, but if we look at, if you log into cPanel and um, go to home, let's see, home right there, you'll see over on the, on the left hand side you can see how much you've got, how much you've used, but then over here if you look at disk space usage, and it'll it'll show you a display of what how much of your disk space is uh, files. Now you see you've got 127 megabytes of email and 67 megabytes uh, on this site of uh, site. So pictures, uh, whatever is on your website, text and all that stuff. That's that's that. Your database is right here, just tiny little amount. That's like the text and things. Um. So what you need to do to correct this is go into your mail settings, whatever email program you're using, whether it's Outlook um, or Thunderbird or some other one, and there is a checkbox setting in there to uh, delete uh, messages on the server. And, um, and it, they, they call it different things for, for, uh, for different uh, stuff. But you're maxing out your disk space usage because all of the emails are being saved on the server. So if somebody sends you a 20 megabyte file, um, well, they couldn't do that because there's a max on it. But say they, they sent you a bunch of 8 megabyte files. Well, that adds up quick. And then you've got no uh, disk space for your site. So you need to um, you know make sure that you check that setting. And then uh, you'll be back in business as far as the disk uh, usage goes. Okay, now if we go back to home, we can look at our bandwidth usage too. And it says right here, bandwidth. We can see, you know, what's, uh, what's using up our bandwidth here. And there's all kinds of different stats. You know, of course, all of this stuff is in uh, Google Analytics. We'll tell you a lot of these things too. Um, let's see here. So it shows you here. Um, basically your traffic and it shows you the times and, and whatnot um, but there are better there are better um, ones to look at here it shows you daily that's kinda neat and you can see on the 22nd it was one of the busiest days okay now if we go back to home there's lots of different logging things such as Webalizer, and Webalizer is a uh, is similar to analytics, although kind of clunky and old school. So you can see that uh, average daily visits was 70 total for uh, the month of February, which isn't even over yet, is 1600. And we click on this, um, you can look down and see. If you scroll down, it says uh, top URLs. Um, and total URLs by kilobytes uh, and it shows the reason it is some of these pictures are big um, and which which isn't a problem when you're about what you're at now because you're kinda at at the uh, the limit but when you look at um, you keep going here you can even see what people have searched for to, to get to your site, which is neat. Your refers, how, what sites Google and whatnot have, have sent people where they've sent them. Um, but if you look at, uh, where is it? Yeah, this is the one we want. So you can see that this, this is a big image, this is a big image. That's been watched 15 times um, and some different other things. Um, then also, there's also the this imagery sizer will will take some bandwidth, um, but not. I mean, you look not not a ton. The slider is going to take some, but uh, overall, you just want to make sure your, your images are optimized for your website because if they're not, and optimized means they're not um, two, three, four megabytes in size. Uh, you want you know picture can for the web doesn't need to be print quality. It doesn't need to have all the same uh, things. So when you save it, just make sure maybe if it's a JPEG, make sure it's at the medium setting. Uh, it's a it's a PNG. There's different things you can do, um, and it's a it's a pixel thing. You can still have it be the same size and have have it have less pixels. And it's just 
it that's the whole thing for a, probably another video but um, hope that helps uh, on an understanding of uh, bandwidth and um, and disk space usage